Hello everybody, Derek here and I'm going to show you how to properly fit lock and all the equipment needed for the exercise. First up is the PPE. We have a hard hat for head protection, gloves for easier ascent and finger protection, safety glasses for eye protection, and boots for better locks on the rope. On the other table we have some equipment that can be used for foot locking. This is known as a double locking carabiner. This will help me stay connected to this prusik. This prusik holds me up so when I stop ascending it won't go anywhere. The carabiner also keeps me connected to the bridge of my saddle, which is another piece of equipment. Right here is another important device called a figure eight. It is used for descending down a climbing line with foot locking. Later on I'll show you how to use it properly. Okay, here we are outside next to a silver maple or a rhino. And I'm going to show you the traditional way of foot locking using a prusik first. As you can see, I have my hard hat on and all my other PPE, including my saddle with the other devices. But before I actually go up, I'm going to mention THADS, which is an acronym for these safety rules. T stands for tie dress set, H stands for hands below your knot, A stands for ascension only, D stands for descent plan and debris cleared, and S stands for spread five to one. Later on, I'll explain what these really are. Now I'm going to show you how to set up a presser boot. Since this has a duffel fisherman's end, we're going to take the opposite end and bring it around the back of your climbing line. Now take the fisherman's end and pass it through the loop, going around the back of your climbing line. Do these two steps two more times until there are six coils around the climbing line. Finally, set the pressic loop tight enough so as you climb it does not slip and cause you to fall down. Now that we have the pressic loop finished and ready, we're going to take it and hit this to our carabiner, connecting it to our saddle. Next, we're going to push up on the pressic, leaving enough room for your grabs. Then, grab below your knot, take one leg, and put it around your rope, with the, in with the rope going on the inside of your knee and outside of your foot. Then, take your other foot take your first lock. Do these steps more, a couple more times until you reach your destination, destination in the tree. As I mentioned before about the thads rule, the last three steps all fall in together. Obviously the pressing is used for ascension only, and I made sure that there was no debris or junk in the actual loop. The last rule a spread is, the, is math based. So in order to understand it, you must know the diameter of the branch you're on. For example, if the branch is 10 inches in diameter, that means you must stay below 50 feet of the branch. If you go any higher, the pressic will loosen up and you will fall, possibly injuring yourself or worse. Setting up a figure eight, it's pretty easy. Just sit back in your saddle like I am. Then, take slack from your rope to a bigger hole, pass it through, and go around the smaller end. Therefore, it ends up looking like this. Now, take your other carabiner, flip it to the smaller end, and that's that part. Once you have that, take a lock so you can reach a pressing and pull down. Once you've done that, grab this and control your descent.
Now I'm on the ground. All I can do is just unclip myself. And I'm all set. <laughs>